Hello there, it's Caroline here from Useful Graph Design Tutorials. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to align text to the left or to the right and centrally, both vertically and horizontally. And it's much easier to actually show you this. So let's bring up two images we're going to use. So here's a little pumpkin with some eyes and a mouth. And I want to align that centrally in the pumpkin. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And another very useful use for aligning is aligning text. And here we're going to show you how to align text to the left, but obviously you could equally as do text aligning to the right. So let's get on and do that. And here's the various elements of the pumpkin. And really all you need to do is to select both elements that you want to align. So I've selected the nose, eyes and mouth. I say nose, there is no nose there, but you know what I mean. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the pumpkin part. So now both are selected. And now I'm going to go up to the align and distribution tool, which is that tool there. Click on that. Just bring that out a little bit. Make sure that the um, drop down box says the last selected. It usually does, but just to be double sure. And then you're looking for the centrally aligned axis there on the vertical axis. And if you click on that, you see how it jumps to a line centrally. And then the other one is the horizontal axis. And if you click on that, then it will align it centrally. So that's perfectly in the center of the pumpkin, which is what you want. OK, so let's go to the text now. And uh, in fact, let's move that over here. Let's move it quite extreme. The same principle applies. You want to select uh, those elements that you want to align. So select everyone at the shop, hold the shift key down, select Happy Easter from, go up to the align and distribution tool, check last selected. And now we want to align this to the left. And if you can see this red line, that's the indicator of the alignment. It says that align left edges. If you click on there, then get that rid of that. You can see that that is aligned exactly towards underneath each other. If we just use the mouse, uh, the keyboard keys, and move that up a little bit, so it's more closely together. Rubber band the both to select them. Move them over here onto the pink backdrop, and really they have it. That's all there is to it. So if you've got any questions or comments about the video please do come and visit us on our fan page. You can find us at the address on the screen now. And that's all for this video. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.